Okay guys, you won't believe this and it's a little wild, but the police just drove past camp. This is slightly reminiscent of what was happening over at the other site where the police just drove through and then suddenly we found out some crazy news. I don't know what's happening. I have no clue. Now when I've been on BLM lands before, we've had rangers come through just to check it out, make sure everything was good. But after Schooly Palooza 1.0, where we got literally kicked out on the other video, go check that one out if you haven't seen it. I'm not the most certain that this is a good sign. With that said, I am going ahead and I'm going to continue charging my solar. I just made some lunch. We have our little group here who's just kind of hanging out. And um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. Do you see this huge bag right here? I just wanted to point something out to you. We came out to the grounds here at Schooly Palooza. And, you know, one of the things that we always talk about is leave it better than you found it. Well, when we got here, all of what was in this bag was actually at our campsite. So we went ahead and picked it up like you're supposed to do. But let me show you this. So inside this bag, we have a variety of different kinds of bullet casings and shells, things like that. All of this was physically at just our campsite. So the campsite that I've been showing you the entirety of this video, all of these. And as we've been finding them, we've been picking them up so we can properly dispose of them. Because that's what you're really supposed to do when you come out to a place. If you see trash, you pick it up. And this kind of stuff should never be here. So I think the real question is, why was it here? Well, this is public lands, but in public lands there are different rules for different areas. And apparently in this area, they don't so much mind if you come out here and use your guns. So let me show you kind of what we discovered from where we're standing right here. Like there's Don's box truck and then like here's the cliff, but look. Way off on this other ledge over here, right by those tracks, there's actually a, what we appear to have found as a target. And that target is something that they've been shooting at from this bluff that we're standing on right here. So like this area right here. So they were using this for long distance firing practice before we even arrived. Now, why do I mention that whenever I'm talking about Schooly Palooza? Well, Schooly Palooza is an event that's being held out here, but at the same time, I think that the nomad community has it kind of right. We try to pick up as we go and also try to leave it better than we found it, which is why we picked up everything and we'll be carting it out even though it's not our trash. And I think that that's the important thing that we can do as nomads to keep the public lands public is do stuff like that. Now, the original Schooly Palooza, there was a little chaos and crazy and that aside I think that primarily one of the reasons why they were concerned was because large crowds typically generate a lot of stuff like that however notice before the event took place all of that was physically here and we picked it up so events aren't always bad also and I think that that's the moral of the story today is that even though we have a large gathering you can have a large gathering of responsible people and they take care of things better than individuals who just kind of leave it to be. So uh, yeah, it's time to eat and we're in the desert and I actually ended up with this as a result of some very amazing people who are like literally right here. Isn't that awesome? So um, super excited about this. I'm gonna make something kind of easy, something kind of good. Red beans and rice is the jammy jam today. So let's talk about it. What has happened today other than this crazy sun? Tan thing that I've got going on as a result of uh, sunglasses and the crazy wind. I mean, look at this. It has been great. All of our friends rolled into camp today. It has been so cool. And we have just sat around and enjoyed the company. I think that the one thing about van life that most people don't understand is the community itself is the most valuable thing when it comes to it. And we're here at Schooly Palooza where the community is wild. Now I'm gonna be showing you some more of Schooly Palooza as we kind of venture out in this direction. But today we're gonna to start off by cooking some food. And as you can see, the day is almost gone. So. So um, this is going to be a wild ride and you're coming with me. Let's go.
dinner is ready. I'm super excited. This smells delicious. I made it a little bit too spicy, I think, but that's okay. And now we are going off to the campfire, which they just got started over here. I love campfire time. It is the best time to have a sense of community. And with all of our friends here now, we have a great group. Now, involved in this particular campfire, we have the Lost Renegades, the Bus Life Pirates. Of course, you all know Lady Bug Out, which is D. And then also we have My Basic Journey, which is Chantel, Dawn of Van Life, our friends Collie and Kyle. We have Casey here, and then we have a brand new friend, which I hope to introduce you to very soon. So I'm gonna go over there, get all settled in, but first I gotta clean up some mess, so let's go. I'm letting this cool off for just a couple more minutes, and then it's gonna go put away. Um, I've got another camera out, of course, and then I'm going to put away this light and kind of straighten everything inside the van up, but then it is time for us just to kick back and enjoy Schooly Palooza. So I told you I was gonna introduce you to somebody new. I just said that, remember? Yeah? So this right here is actually our new friend, but it, it's not just the RV itself. It actually belongs to somebody. <laughs> this is Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, tell us about yourself a little bit. Um, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, my husband and I and our cat Pam travel uh, full time in our class C. <laughs> Yes, and we've been doing it since January 1st, 2021. Sweet. And um, we love it. And this is our first, like, schooly palooza. Mine, too. I understand. Yes. <laughs> and so we're super excited. And, uh, yeah. What do you think about schooly palooza so far? Um, I think it's amazing. Um, I got to meet you. I got to meet a bunch of awesome ladies. Absolutely. And... About the crowd, though. Oh, Yeah. She was over in the crowded section before she migrated our way. We have our own little camp, and I haven't shared that much with you guys yet, but we kind of went over to the opposite side of where the big buses were going. Sarah started out on that side. What was that like? Um, it was great. We had a whole section to ourselves, and then slowly but surely, they kept creeping in. So um, it was nice. You guys invited us over so oh, yeah. we could Definitely. like spread out and yeah. How many people would you guesstimate are here? Oh man. <laughs> the wow. ongoing, the ongoing I don't know face. Oh gosh. That 2,000 maybe? 2,000, okay, so that is our running total. I said whenever we <laughs> left out, maybe 1,000. She thinks 2,000. We don't know. No, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, so that is the reality so far. We are about to go join our campfire. We yes. have some amazing people. Again, community forms around your campfire, so find your tribe, get around the campfire, have some fun, and I'm gonna show you more of School Palooza. Okay, as you can see guys, we had a really great campfire last night, but now we are off to explore. It is daytime and all sorts of stuff is happening. Now, every night there is a camp area right here that has some crazy stuff going on. But during the day, it seems like they're going to, so I thought this would be better light to show you what's up. Let's go see some buses, explore a little bit, and figure out what's at the pirate flag.
is I may have found <laughs> my childhood memories in a bus. Wow. Look, it's the mystery machine. This is so awesome. I love this. Now, only if they have a Great Dane. That would make it even better. I just stopped off at the best place ever. There's a glass blower actually here at the event, and he is just popping onto social media. So you're gonna wanna find him and follow him and see all the cool things. His website launches this week, so you're gonna wanna go and link up with him. If you're on Instagram, you're gonna find this man right here, and he is, what is it on Instagram? DH Fervent. DH Fervent. Go find him and then go at him and check out some of these things. They are fabulous they're intricate beautiful and amazing and he's on site right now and he's actually putting stuff together so we're definitely coming back here there are so many talented people out here wow I never knew what to expect from this event but there are so many people showing like their crafts their photography just like their paintings in general oh my gosh I am in overload right now but it is amazing this is the first event that I have been to like this. Been to a lot of other events. This one is definitely taking the cake for original and different, and I'm really digging it. And there's just so many different kinds of people out. Like you have families, individuals, you have vans, you have buses. It's just insane. But um, we're not done yet, let's keep walking. Okay guys, this has to be the best thing I've seen so far today. Look at this, Mr. Bojangles, he will strip for tips. Okay, what do you think of when you think of that? Just curious, leave it in the comments, but um, I bet it wasn't what we're seeing. Look at this, this is Mr. Bojangles. Is that not the funniest thing ever? We are at the Uprooted Soap Company and they have Mr. Bojangles, but also some really cool stuff. Let me show you what's up. Okay guys, we just ended up picking up one of the really cool keychains because I think they're just like so neat. They're Schooly Palooza specific. And I got the one that said Arizona and California because well, let's face it, we were in both. But then if you're looking for some really cool soaps and different kinds of items, make sure that you check her out. It's Uprooted Soap Company and she is on Instagram and other social media. Again, a little bit of everything out here and super cool stuff. I just found a massage area that is wild and absolutely perfect considering, you know, all the walking in the desert on the really harsh rocks. Super awesome. Let me show you. So you can come out here and they actually have a tent and just a really nice area to like zone out and be very at peace and then to be able to get a really nice massage. This is awesome. So as we're walking around, we're also seeing a lot of other YouTubers who have channels but have buses. This one, for example, is Jenna and Morgan, and uh, I've seen their channel several times, so that's kind of cool. And uh, I found a couple of others that I've noticed also that I just hadn't brought to your attention. Sorry about that, guys. I need to suggest some more channels for you. Okay guys, as we're sitting here watching this guy do some awesome things, this is how you can find him online. It's Cross Glass. He is on Instagram, he's on Facebook. Go check out all the different things that he's making because this is pretty cool. And uh, he's giving us a full time, like right in our face kind of show here. So this is awesome.
stopped off at the one bus and they actually had a library they're setting up, not to mention they also have like some activities that you can do which are super cool and they're getting it all set up right now. So we found coffee, we found cool stuff, we have found live music at night and now we have found a library. This literally is a community that just like keeps giving. It's so awesome and uh, that's just really neat but we are just scrolling through here. There are so many different buses and I found one that I'm really interested in over here. Let's go check it out. see what I see this bus actually is also a rock climbing wall that right there is insane never seen that on a bus either that is really really cool now I have just been giving you some of the highlights of some of the things that I've been seeing and we have only traveled down four rows but this will blow your mind so we've been kind of over here and a little bit over there we haven't even tackled anything back here. There are so many different kinds of rigs, kinds of people, and uh, kinds of like areas that you can go explore and I love that but this event is huge and it's amazing. Like everyone here is so friendly and everyone says hello good morning and again so many neat things to look at so uh, yeah I think I'm just gonna soak in a little bit and then get back to you guys once we get back to camp. I told you guys I was going to find you another channel or two, the Digital Nomad Guy. Go check his channel out. I've seen his channel before also, but seeing his setup in person, wow, amazing. Definitely, definitely check that one out. It's home sweet home. It's Kali and Kyle. We made it! Back at camp and I'm currently just putting some things together for a project that I'm working on but the DJ is playing all day today and it is going crazy. That's my trash. Sorry about that guys. I haven't been able to take it out just yet. Okay, so day, I don't even know at this point. Spooly Palooza lasts like 10 days. And so as you kind of go, everything starts running together. I decided today was the day that I was going to the store because I needed some things. So I just ran into Blythe, which is actually in California. So we just can't get away from California even when they initially, uh, you know, kicked us out. <laughs> the irony. But Blythe has all the different supplies that you might need and it's far less crowded than the courtside area. So it just kind of makes sense. It's less than 10 minutes away from camp. So I just went into town, picked up some fresh produce, some things that I want to cook over the next few days. And then also I went ahead and topped off my tank because even though it's in California, it's actually a little cheaper there, which was wild to me. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of where today has started. Last night we actually celebrated Dee's birthday and it was super fun. Her birthday is physically today, but we went ahead and celebrated last night while everyone was still in town knowing that some of the people were leaving today and we just had a really good time. We let ourselves go to a little dance party and they had people who were spinning these lights and uh, this is what that all looked like.
see there's lots of different things going on constantly at Schooly Palooza and it's not just like organized events like a lot of places in fact I think that this is one of the more unique events because it's kind of like people just show up and say hey I have this at my camp if you want to come along and it's really fun because you can kind of pick your adventure that way and so if you're interested in coming for like a full-on party that's here if you're looking for just the community aspect that's also here if you're looking to learn some things or work on a project that's here a little bit of everything but for now I'm on my way back to camp and uh, we actually lost Collie and Cal this morning so we're gonna see what camp looks like for the first time with some of our people missing and it's bittersweet we get to come together and have these wonderful times but at the end of the day we all part ways and go on our own adventures Good morning! So, it's been a wild ride here at Schooly Palooza, to say the least. Um, I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys. Let me tell you about what has happened over the past couple of days. We celebrated Lady Bug Out's birthday. Lady Bug Out, I, I think, broke her wrist. Not good. She ended up leaving early this morning so she can go get it checked out. Understandable. We don't want Bug down. Bug cannot be out. And in the meantime, she's left. Colleen and Kyle have left. We had another friend who left. We lost the Bus Life Pirates. We also lost the Lost Renegades. It's kind of funny losing the Lost Renegades. <laughs> but before we lost everyone, we went out for one epic concert night. They had like a country western night last night and they had a live band. They had fire twirlers. They had all sorts of crazy things and it was absolutely free. They were taking like a few donations if you wanted to throw some money at the band for like a tip for being awesome but otherwise free. Super super cool and it was amazing. It looked kind of like this.
So now we're back at camp. Our neighbors right here, they're actually leaving. And so our little section is starting to clear out and it's still kind of early. The event runs until the 31st, but people are moving on a little bit here and there. So, you know, it is what it is. You kind of catch them in the move. But um, let me show you who's left. So we still have Sarah and Aaron here. And then there's me and then Casey. And then there's this big gap. And then we have Dawn and then Chantel is over there. So we have a few left, but there's kind of a little bit of a rumbling that we're gonna lose a couple more. So a lot of you guys often ask me, what do I do as a nomad on the road? And I've kind of talked about that a little bit, but there are different things that different people do. And Casey actually, as a nomad, just took a job where she's going to be going all the way to Oregon. So that's right, she has to be in Oregon like by the end of the month, which is just a few days away. So she's actually going to be caravanning alone to Oregon after she leaves, which means that she's probably heading out today, to be honest. She's got a long drive ahead from where we are right here in very Southern Arizona. So she's going to go report to her job. And then um, actually, Sarah's been working the whole time. She actually works remotely from her rig right here, which is kind of cool also. So even while at a festival like Schoolie Palooza, we're still getting some work done. We're still getting some work done. In fact, Dawn has been working the entirety of the time on some different projects also, not only for her channel, but also for her rig. And then I know Chantel and I have both been YouTubing it up as we see fit kind of along the way um so yeah that's kind of what's going on around camp right now it's a very different story than a couple of days ago but you know that's van life we come together and then we slowly drift apart again Okay guys, so it's getting a little bit later in the day as you can see by the light here and it's time for me to make some dinner. I'm really excited about today's meal because I'm gonna try something a little bit more in depth than I have been over the last few days. I've been eating really good food. However, I've been trying to make it like one step foods, but today we're gonna go through the motions of actually cooking something. <laughs> and then I think we're gonna go out here and explore a little bit more of Palooza and show you one last look at what is here while I am here. I hope you're enjoying coming along for this. Again, it's my first event. A little chaos has happened along the way, as you can see. But at the end of the day, it's been super, super fun and I'm really enjoying it. But let's get back to that food. after dinner and we came to listen to some good music. Yay!
Okay, so I looked everywhere around Schoolie Palooza, could not find a patch to commemorate this wonderful event, but instead I found an Arizona patch. So I slapped a little bit of Velcro on it, and now I'm going to add it to the wall of patches that I have started here in the van. I think it'll go really great in this area, and forever as I see this patch, I will just think of Schoolie Palooza and all of the interesting stuff that ensued. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? Getting out, having new experiences, and taking home little memories while leaving everything better than you found it. Schoolie Palooza has been wild, it's been crazy, it's been windy, there's been great music, there have been good people, and we have had a blast. So I'm definitely glad that I came out here. Now, Definitely a different kind of vibe than any of the other things that I've been to before. I will say that. Very, very different. I would say that in comparison to some of the other events that I've been to that are very structured, very organized, have classes or instructional times or like TED Talk kind of things, this is very different. This is more for gathering with your friends, being entertained by the amazing talent in the nomad community and finding some cool little different groups that you might fit in with along the way there aren't a ton of tours going on here but there's a lot of people who if you're very interested in their stuff are more than proud to show you and so it makes it just kind of a fun place and i'm really happy that i came my patch wall is started and i am on to some new adventures if you've enjoyed today's video remember we are not here for a long time but we are definitely here for a good time and schoolie palooza was that. Till next time, guys. Bye!